Alright folks, this probably is going to be one of my worst videos ever, but I'm going to try and help you out. Um, this Magnum is something that's kind of hard to come by and we're fixing to sell it, so I wanted to make a little bit of a video about it. This is a 2460 HP Magnum. You can see right there, the HP is high performance. And what the high performance about this particular one, some of the added features are the nicer seat. That's a very thick, cushy seat there. The OCDC chute here, that's Operator Control Discharge Chute, which you can see here, that opens and closes to allow uh, mulching or, uh, you know, if you get near a window or something and you want to shut that down so rocks don't fly out and bust somebody's window or their car, you know, that's a very nice feature. Uh, and that is available on Magnums that are not HPs. We can add that afterwards. Back here you see something nice. That's a Donaldson dual stage air filter. The reason it has that is because it is a high performance engine also. It's the Kawasaki FX730V. That's considered a heavy commercial or light industrial mower engine. Um, it's covered under the three year warranty that Dixie Chopper has on the Magnum. Um, you saw a little hitch there on the back or a placed amount of ball. They use a rated to tow thousand pounds with a hundred pound of tongue weight. Um, there's your valve cover, a nice aluminum valve cover here that you do need to check your valve lash. Uh, that should be done every about 150 hours on this unit. So you'll take that off and check that. Um, here are the tires. It's got a nice set of tires on here. Uh, this guard along the edge here makes it great when you're going uh, along uh, flower beds or such or cinder blocks or anything that you would normally have to do a lot of weed eating around you can rub that edge right up along it it's a nice thick guard and if you notice that's two plates of steel see the one that's gray it kind of stands out uh, both of those are seven gauge steel so the casing here is seven gauge and then that's seven gauge as well that top plate and what's cool about this is if you ever did have to replace the shell you don't have to take everything off take all your spindles out and take them apart um, all you would do is remove the blades from the bottom and remove these few bolts that you'll see holding all the stuff down there and uh, that allows you to just replace the shell instead of having to take your spindles off. Something else about the spindles that's neat on this, I don't know if you can get a good view from where we're at here. Can you see the Zerk fitting right there? That grease fitting, if you notice, that spindle sits up on a little bit of a pedestal. Maybe you can see under here a little better, I'm not sure. But it sits up on a pedestal. And the majority of other mowers, it sits down in a little depression. The top of the mowing deck is not flat. It's indented there. And what's inside those spindles is bearings. Dixie Chopper uses Timken tapered bearings, which seem to last a very long time. Because they're all about being reliable and lasting. But, um... You can imagine if that were in a slight well or depression, that all the sand and grit and grass and everything would get in there and get in those bearings very easily and that would make the lifespan of your spindles very short. Dixie Chopper cares about lifespan, that's why they give you the full warranty. So just a quick overview of a Magnum. Oh, another nice thing that I didn't mention with a Magnum, HP, is the serviceable transaxles. Underneath here you'll see that it has high quality Hydro Gear ZT3400 commercial transaxle. Now that is a true commercial transaxle. I don't know if you can see behind that little cover there is a filter. And that filter is changeable and the fluid is replaceable. One on each side. And uh, when you're looking at uh, Hydro Gear transaxles, the higher the number, the higher the quality of the transaxle, and the longer it should last you. So when you're shopping other brands and looking at other things, see all this nice high quality steel here. Uh, you see the kind of warranty and backing it has by the company. And um, you can see the quality components. Oh, well, there's another nice feature. That um, allows you to, if you run out of fuel, you're not really out of fuel, you're only out of fuel in the tank that you're running on. So you can switch it and drive back to your trailer and fill up the other tank. Very nice feature, and another reason why we like Dixie Chopper so much around here. Let us know what you think of the video, and put a comment below. 
We appreciate you watching.